welcome to budding dentist today we are going to discuss about uh, physiological stages of development of tooth actually tooth formation is a complex process and it involves two stages morphological stage and physiological stage and in morphological stage it involves bud stage cap stage bell stage and uh, early and advanced bell stage physiological stage we have uh, initiation proliferation morpho differentiation histo differentiation and apposition as the tooth development proceeds through various morphological changes many physiological changes also take place in different components of the tooth germ which are termed as physiological processes initiation the evidence of tooth formation is observed as early as the 6th week of intrauterine life with the formation of the dental lamina at 10 specific regions of this dental lamina but like structures develop which forms the primordia of the 10 deciduous teeth in each arch similarly permanent teeth also develop from lingual and distal extension of dental lamina the process of initiation which decides the commencement of tooth formation and number of teeth and their location any disturbance in initiation will lead to congenital absence of tooth which is due to lack of initiation and supernumerary tooth which is due to continued budding off from the dental lamina proliferation it is the second process it begins at bud stage and continues through bell stage this process helps to provide adequate cells for the development of tooth germ and it also contribute the shape of the crown any defect in the initiation a defect in proliferation also results in failure of the tooth germ to develop and leads to the formation of less number of teeth than normal here in this picture you can appreciate the missing of the lateral incisors and excessive proliferation of the cells may lead to cysts and tumors morpho differentiation it is a physiological process this process begins in the cap stage and becomes maximum at the early bell stage this process which determine the shape and size of the developing tooth here the enamel organ which forms the invagination in the cap stage which becomes deeper you could appreciate this is the invagination of the enamel organ which becomes deeper in the early bell stage in morpho differentiation stage the formative cells are arranged outline these are the formative cells ameloblast and odontoblast ameloblast which forms the enamel and the odontoblast which forms the dentin which determines the shape of the and shape of the tooth and the size of the tooth the morphological pattern of the tooth is established when the inner enamel epithelium inner enamel epithelium is arranged and the boundary between it and the odontoglast outlines the future dentino enamel junction at this stage the basement membrane separating the inner enamel epithelium from the dental palpilla is the membrana perfectiva it is also called blueprint for crown formation any disturbance in morpho differentiation will lead to abnormal form and size of the teeth when you uh, when you read the term abnormal form and size of the teeth you could remember the laterals and micro and macro dentia of incisors macro dentia is the crown will be larger in size micro dentia is the crown will be shorter the size of the crown is shorter histo differentiation 
it is a physiological process by which the cells undergo morphological and functional changes to perform their function this stage begins in the cap stage and becomes maximum in yearly bell stage during this stage the inner enamel epithelial cells inner enamel epithelial cells which differentiate into ameloblast and which is the enamel forming cells and the dental palpilla cells into odontoblast which is the dentin forming cells interaction between inner enamel epithelium here interaction between the inner enamel epithelium and the dental palpilla it is essential for proper histo differentiation this process which determines the shape and size of the tooth any defect in the enamel forming cells which is the ameloblast which leads to aminogenesis imperfectiva and any defect in the dentin forming cells which is the odontoblast which leads to dentinogenesis imperfectiva vitamin a deficiency can also affect the differentiation of ameloblast leading to defective enamel and dentin formation the last stage is the opposition it is a process where there is a rhythmic deposition of dental hard tissues what are the dental hard tissues enamel dentin and cementum at the primary dentition enamel and dentin is rhythmically deposited uh, once the dentino enamel junction is formed the formative cells which is the ameloblast and the odontoblast which starts successive deposition of organic matrix and which get mineralized to form the dental hard tissues any defect which is which may be either local or systemic which leads to hypoplasia of enamel and hypoplasia of dentin thank you for your patience